Hello everyone and welcome to this full game walkthrough of Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. So in this episode we are going to complete Valario's Rest and then head to Port Mage but not start that place. Alright, let's join our body and start the game. As soon as the game starts, you do get your bonuses from Barrett's Blessings. The return to your body feels like waking after a fitful drunken sleep. The rocking of the ship sends pain jolting through your limbs. Crashing waves hammer inside your skull. It looks like they've actually included a hull with the sail upgrade that you would normally get, which is interesting. I haven't seen this one before. Most hull upgrades will give you a bonus to movement, but this one is just straight hull health. Adair watches over your body with a glazed look, taking long, even tokes from his pipe. At the first movement of your chest, he starts. His gasp, mid-puff, sends him coughing and straining for breath. No, there's no way. You're awake. What are you doing awake? How are you feeling? I'm alive. Alive's a big improvement. I hate to cast a pall over your recovery, but I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. The voice echoes from inside the bust. Had Nua has been destroyed. Aethus possessed the statue of Maros Nua and rose from the ground, consuming the souls of all nearby. It is only by the exceptional strength of your soul that you survived. And even then, just barely. The further Aethus withdrew, the weaker you became. We chartered this ship and followed him to the Deadfire Archipelago. I know not how, but it seems he has retained a piece of your soul. And proximity to it has brought you back. How could you know all that? You've been faking on us. He pokes at your shoulder with one finger. Misfortune's brewing topside with... Magrans fires the captain stirs. An older man with ale-sour breath rubs his bloodshot eyes and stares at you. Engrim, the smell of drink on your breath could wake the very dead. Now what's this about? Pirates. They're demanding parley with you, Captain. I know this is asking a lot, but you better arm yourself and get on deck. Should be some gear in there. He indicates a nearby wardrobe. Alright, so I will need to get some uh, gear and then also level up since I am level 4. All right. I'm going to skip the leveling space. process to save time for us. Okay, we are leveled up now and have our equipment on. I did want to mention something really quick about the pirate fight coming up. If any of your crew does die during the fight, then they actually will be permanently dead. So the, the one that usually dies for me is Irina, because she usually gets flanked early on. So you just want to keep that in mind. Alright, let's go fight. Well, what have we? I'll be taking your ship now. If you well, at least he asked. I am a gentleman of fortune. Give her up easy, and I'll see you get a swift death. It'll be bloody and agonizing, sure. Well, now you're getting it. Listen up, mates. I'm off to spear me a bigger fish, one with sharper teeth like. I'm trusting you lot not to cock this up. Don't damage the sloop when you take it. Play with the crew if you'd like, but don't bring me any prisoners. None that are alive. You heard, Benwick! If you're playing the Chanter class, you will need to make sure that you have your chance running, because that's the way you build up resources. And at this point, I'm just going to summon those three small dragons that you can get at level 4. But if I was level 1, I would probably just go with the Phantom, since it seems to outdamage the, the three skeletons combined. Like I said before, you also want to make sure that your crew members don't die. You can hit the tab key to see their health if you need to. Once you summon your minions, then you're just managing them at this point in time, so 
It's like having a full party only with fewer people getting experience. At this point you come to your first decision on how the game plays out. I prefer to save Tupac over the crate. The contents of the crate in the past were just some fine gloves with some drugs and potion. And those are all things that you'll get very soon. So we've saved your Tupac and put them on the deck of the boat. And our box is gone. And there's Aeothus. And that's gonna be it. Let's crash our boat. sleep so far on this trip. I'd have woke you, but you look so peaceful with your face in the sand. If you're worried about the ship, you can stop worrying. It's wrecked right over there. So far, it's just you and me and the chair lady over there. It's a relief to see you awake, my lady. I worried you were in for another long sleep. Where are we? Don't know, but it's real pretty. Difficult to say for certain. The dead fire is spotted with islands, some quite small. The good news is that if the storm hasn't spun us round entirely, I'd say we're in charted waters. I believe the Valian Trading Company operates in the region. Hence that little visit from that wretched pirate captain. What do we do now? It is your decision, but Aethus still holds a piece of your soul. He was moving inland last I saw of him. I rather think he will have been hard to miss. Okay. Let's see about the other survivors. And somehow we gotta get the ship repaired. I don't wanna be paddling out of here on a salvage raft. For now, I'd say your best bet is to find some sign of civilization. If nothing else, we may be able to hire on a shipwright. My lady, if it is not too taxing, could you explain how it came to pass that you were returned to us? <laughs> I like this one. Uh, I've returned as the Herald of Bereth. I'm on a special mission to find Aeothis and learn what his plans are. Sure. I suppose if any mission could be considered special, it'd have to be this one. I think for my dis disposition in this gameplay, I'm going to actually go with uh, being a smart aleck. A perilous endeavor indeed. Castle or no castle, you are still my lady, and I will aid you to the best of my ability. Well, I suppose we'd better get a move on. So we can uh, have Edder join our group, or we can just do solo. Since I'm playing Path of the Damned, I'm going to have him join our group, especially this early on. Okay, so we have a fighter and a rogue. And in a fighter rogue, swashbuckler. I actually like him as a swashbuckler, mostly because he can get the cleaving stance, and that with the rogue abilities makes it uh, really good as far as dealing damage. But we may actually not stick with Edder in a long run. All right, so he'll uh, be the same level as as we are. He is, yeah, level 4. And he's got 6,000. And we have two more XP than he does. I also want to point out that our uh, 
attributes, they all went up plus two. And we're now back, back up to 10 with the constitution and back up to 10 with resolve. And that's because of uh, Barreth's blessings providing us the bonus. All right, so this part in the game, we have three quests. We have the main storyline quests. We also have Stranded, which uh, we have to find a way to repair our ship. We'll be able to take care of that one later when we get to Port Maje. And this one we can complete while we are in Valario's Rest, which is the area that we're at now. So Valario's Rest, we'll go through this area in this episode, and then we will end this episode when we are done with this zone. Can do. Hope the rest of those soft bastards made it. There's a lot of looting in here. Help! Somebody! Blanca! Okay, that's gonna be I uh, Irina up here. We can uh if if she died, then she wouldn't be here at all. I'll do what I can. I think as far as my character goes, I have no athletic skills. So I, I can't do this one because my athletics uh, does not exist as this character. And maybe uh, I can do it with Edar. Uh, no, I can't. So I'm going to use a grappling hook. That's just a way to shortcut having athletic skills. Alright, let's just climb the ro rope here. Talk to her. Looking better, Casita. That, or I'm worse off than I thought. <laughs> it's my leg, Matico. It hurts even worse than it looks. Okay, I think I can craft a splint. I wasn't planning on going for a run, Casita. Ah, uh, it still hurts, but I can manage from here. Agrasima. Have you found any of the others yet? Not yet. I'll start a fire. If any of the others are out there, hopefully they'll see it and turn up. Alright, we have an addendum to Helping Hand. We found Irina. In the uh, journal, it gives you all the little notes and details about a uh, specific quest that you're working on. Let's climb down. Be sure to grab some of this uh, fire Daddy kelp or coral. It's a coral? That's a uh, spire sponge, okay. You can definitely craft some uh, drugs with that. Alright, let's get Edar here. This thing's gonna go down pretty fast, so I'm just gonna smack it with the AoE. This is the bonus of having uh, two different classes, is that I'm out of mage spells, but I still have my other chanter spells. Maybe I can get these guys to kill this other pig. Maybe not. We're all in this together. Up here is just a uh, a ghost that you can't do anything with, really. I'm the boar's watcher. I can't hold them back. Some of these ghosts you can actually uh, talk to and take them with you. I'm not sure I know how to do. Hey, fancy seeing you here. I can't see much of anything really, apart from you. Just endless gray. What happened? Your ship ran aground and you died. Storm? That's strange. You think a man would recall a storm? It's like it's like someone cut away a part of my memory. There's just this big black hole. Weird. I thought death would be different. Big light and so on. But I don't see anything at all. Just you. Breath charged me with guiding souls to the afterlife. I suppose you're my responsibility now. Oh. Suppose that sounds nice enough. I'll follow you then, shall I? Go along. Still seeing ghosts, huh? I suppose you're stuck with that. 
I see where you're going. I can. Oh, there's a. There's a pig here. Yeah, by their heartbeats. Let's get. I have like no defensive skills except for just this mirror image. Yeah, that's my only version of of uh, defense. So I gotta be careful with the aggro. Hey there. There's your two pick. It is good to see you well, Watcher. I believe the boars were hoping for easy meat. The bosun, Beadil, is in that cave over there. Ran in after a boar. Stubborn old dwarf. I'll look for Beadil. I will make for the campfire. I must get this pistol cleaned if it's going to be of any use. Be careful in there, Captain. I see where you're going with this. Okay, I think, yeah, let's go in the cave. In this cave, we only have one group of mobs that will put up a fight at this time. I guess we're not the first to head this way. And that is the construct, and that's mostly because he is immune and has a lot of resistances to what we can currently do to him. Uh, you can avoid most of the mobs in this cave by going straight to Baelodil and then leaving. Everything else is just additional chances to get help. items. Trouble up ahead. You do want to be careful when you're doing AoE spells because you can hit your own party members. But I really don't care if the dragons die. Or any of my pets do. Your tank usually can handle. AOE spells because their reflex is pretty high. Quiet as a cat's paw. Trouble up ahead. Yeah, I know. Leave Let's it go. to me. That's uh these guys all have shields, so it doesn't matter who I attack first. I didn't know I could stay uh stealth while I have casted my dragons. That's pretty interesting. So if you just want to go straight to Beadel, you just uh, kill those bugs, these skeletons, and he's right up here. See that? Damned pirates! Andra, take your scabrous souls for fish food. Beadel, still alive and calling everybody scabrous, I see. Well, now we got a bosun. Just need a boat. A dare. And I see that corpse we've been carting around is looking a slight more sprightly. Good to try to find a way past without losing a leg or getting a face full of poison. Uh, I could take care of them. Well, they sting something fierce, so mind yourself. What if I got back there anyways? It's <laughs> a lot of traps to accidentally go through. Found something. So we, we can just clear these out. Hey. Bless you, lady. Would have been a sorry way to go. Caught up in a dead pirate's trap. It's just bats and stinking corpses in this cave. You find anyone else? We've got a campfire on the beach. Then I'll head that way myself. See you on the beach, Captain. That's really all you gotta do in this, in this cave. Um, everything else is just extra. Ha! There's a little bit of bonuses to... Uh, Things you can get in here. Did you feel that? And as far as uh, experience goes, Found something. there isn't any. Uh, you don't get experience That's from actual killing mobs, but you do get experience from uh, a bestiary. So, killing a mob for the first time will get you experience. 
And this is really the hardest group of mobs, is this group right here. Because it includes a, uh, this, this guy right here, which is immune to fire. And very resistant to slashing damage. Look. And it's a large group of mobs, too. Hopefully you can survive this. Let's go for the skeletons. Yeah, my dragon's gonna be useless now because everything's immune to fire. Uh, except for these guys, so, but he's immune to fire, so I have to switch to a different type of mob to cast. Do cold damage, that'll work. They're just immune to this fire, so I'm just gonna try to melee them. Yeah, he's gonna chase me now. <laughs> you can try the Phantom, maybe. His thoughts. I'm not sure I know how to do that. Okay. Let's give. Let's give him this ring that we just got. He's gonna eat more than we do. It's a uh, ring of protection. It just boosts up the uh, fortitude, reflexes, and will. There's another group of mobs down here. I'll handle it for you. They see him. He saw me? Me too. Trouble up ahead. May I be a candle in the night. Deal miss me. Not even close. No, oh, okay. I'm with you. You can trust there's always a way. Wait, look there. Oh no, let's back up. I don't want to get stuck. With aggro. Aggro works uh, interesting in this way. Um, you have the initial aggro that you can pick up on people, but then you also have uh, spells that cause aggro. Wait, look there. So at this point in the game, our, our uh, even though we don't have risk of citation on, we're still generating more resources before our summons uh, die out. Oh, he died. All right, but I'm keeping what's in there. I guess I wasn't so hard. Okay, there's one more place over here we can go to. Nope, we're done with this cave. Quiet as a cat's paw. Wait, look there.
Hey there. Whoa, whoa, look. You'll miss me too. <laughs> I guess this is it. He's not attacking automatically. Let me just do this. Hey there. You can trust me. I'll do what I can. All right, so we can go to uh, another part of the cave here, and it's very small. It's going to require athletics, which we should be able to do with Eddard, because he has two athletics. Alright, so I'm through. Oh, I see where you're going with this. You must gather your party before they bring forth. There's a spirit here, and she pretty much just tells you about the why that machine was in there, that, that uh, mechanical machine. That's really it. And she also tells you that Benwith, this is Benwith's cave, his personal place that he stashes stuff at. So you, you can get an idea of, you know, this was a uh, machine killed a bunch of the pirates who then became undead and that's how this cave came to be in the shape that it's in. Alright, let's get the last few people. Um, we have everybody except for Elder Ingram. I can hear oh, there's a boar. By their heartbeat. It's not a good place to be when you're uh, in combat. Are you sure you want to do this? I can't get through. There's Elder Ingram. Spy! Magran here! My flame burns yet! Is that ye? You? you woke just in time for the fun. Fighting off motherless raiders one moment, flung into the freezing depths of Ondra's bosom the next. Aye. Magran learns us poor bastards that a little excitement's good for the heart. I've had enough trials for today. Can we go back on the ship now? I'll go see if I can find anyone else. Good. I'll start a fire. A right proper fire to thank Magran for all her trials. Yeah, we actually completed that quest now. So we have done this one. Completed. And we now have to move on to the next place. If you go back to the fire, there is like a box you can get stuff from. I'll boil up some water. I'll have a spy at that leg of yours. Should have seen me with that barrel, Engrim. I showed it was boss. Hmm. All right, let's uh move on to the world map. There's some supplies you can get in the world map. There's like a. Ship supplies here. Alright, there's only one encounter on the way to Port Mage, and it's this place right here, Ilanet's Fork. Let's just approach openly. And you, re you realize that it's pilgrims uh, from Rysarin, 
which means they're going to be like following Aeothus. And they talk about having dreams, bringing them to this place. You just tell them I'm following Aeothus. Now, if you're negative to these people, um, Edar actually has a negative reaction because of your negativity towards uh, followers of Aeothus. Okay. And if you, uh, you can just say I'm a spec the wagon. If you threaten them, Edar does not like that at all. And if you steal from them, Edar does not like that at all. So just keep that in mind. If you're trying to make Edar mad, this is a really good way to start. Uh, we could try to lift the corner of the wagon. We're the same might. There you go. They will give you some money. That's really the only encounter you have on your way to uh, the, the city here. Alright, so that's going to be it. Uh, we've made it to Port Maje. And what I'm going to do now is just end the episode. So I thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.